here for it is going to be heading this way here shortly uh, and get started uh, for our uh, for our, kind of our last session before we come back together in November. So it's pretty much almost over, guys. Uh, you can cheer or boo. Uh, there we go. So please make sure that you have all your devices put away today like you have been for practicing that good behavior. Uh, so put those away so they don't distract you so we can have a very focused, um, short time here together today. But we have a lot of important things to cover. So as usual, we have the homework reminders. And again, just make sure that you're completing your homework. Uh, again, if you feel like you're uh, getting behind, go ahead and get caught up because those questions you will see again on the post-test or the final. Uh, and that is sooner than later because, again, we are towards the end. So uh, your piece of clarity, which will uh, be due November 15th, please check your inbox for the email from that. If you are pretty confident that you have missed uh, that email, please let one of us know, and we'll tell you how to get in contact with us to get that email. Uh, you will also need to be completing your academic plan with your advisor. And uh, that is worth, I believe, 40 points. Once you have that meeting, you can bring some sort of evidence of that back to your breakout instructor. They can tell you what they want for that. But start looking for who your advisor is, contacting them, and scheduling those appointments. And also remember to complete your merit activities. There are several coming up, and we'll talk about more of those, uh, which would be some that are going to be during our regular FYE time period. So if FYE is not going to be going on, there'll be some merit events where you should have a blank spot on your schedule to make it easy for you to fit that in. Uh, so working in the community of perspectives from graduates will be from 11 to 12 to 15 in the ATC 107, which a lot of you have already visited before, uh, which will be Tuesday, November 17th, and Wednesday, November 18th. So. Yeah, that's just one event, so there's two options. So don't try to go all right, so today we have a word from our sponsor. The sponsor is the Advancement Office, so please welcome Vice President Larry Miller. Okay, good morning everyone. How are you doing? Everybody had a good fall break, ready to hit it again. Uh, let me ask you, does anybody here know what the Advancement Office does at a college or at this, this particular college? Anybody know what Advancement does in the back here, folks? No, no fair, no fair. Faculty can't respond to this. Any students know? Anybody heard of development in, as far as the college is concerned? Anyway, I'll answer the question for you. <laughs> it might be an educational moment for you, but uh, the Advancement Office works on developing fundraising some sources of scholarship money for you. And in fact, that's one thing that I wanted to highlight to you guys, and you might have already heard this from the Financial Aid Office. But uh, we're, we have a variety of scholarships here at the college, and you'll have an opportunity at the beginning of the next semester to, to pick up the new scholarship application for the following year, for next year. The deadline, I believe it's still the same, or April the 1st, that's this coming April for the following year. Let me remind you too, though, uh, that to be as specific as you can on there, we have scholarships for a variety of different uh, majors and career options, and. So if you, uh, you'll be asked to, to oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm running, okay, so I'm on schedule. Okay, so anyway, just want to remind you of that. Our office is in the administration building. If you come in and pass the flag poles, first girl on the right, if you need any. Uh, okay. 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 Have a good uh, final semester.
you get a card, there's a little bit of uh, brochure about Baby Baby Lowest World. There's a card in there to fill it out and give it to your instructor, and it gets back to us, you get another free t-shirt. So that is a two t-shirt, one merit approved activity, $40 application fee wave event, and the transcript is free that day on October the 29th, 934 in the LRC. I would get so now, that allows us to welcome, thank you Hannah and Hannah, uh, Track Central, and we have Katie Bauer to talk about some of our transfer services and career services. All right, well let's welcome Katie and thank Hannah and Hannah. I'm going to ask this, I'm going to say, well, if I got the transfer fair merit event, can I do this transfer too? Yes, you can. So it's a double up time. If you're thinking about going to WKU, thanks again Hannah and Hannah. And so as Katie mics up, I do want to remind you about those times that are during our regular class time. I'm looking for some other parent presenters that may be able to present during those times. So keep an eye on the website and keep an eye on your email. If we can find some other people to present during that 11 to 12, 15 time to help you catch up on merit events for those of you who still need them, that's what we're shooting for. So with that, are you ready to go, Katie? All right, I can hear you, so all right good morning good morning i have a lot of information i want to share with you all today so i'll do my best to be clear and succinct to move things along um, i'm really glad to talk to you my name is katie bowler i have been at octc this december it'll be 14 years um, i love working in higher ed and i love working with college students i always say it doesn't matter how old they get i still remember i promise you what it feels like to be a college student to not know who to talk to, to be uncertain, to feel a little lost. Um, if you've heard me at orientation, you've heard me say before, you know, I started out life as a theater major. Well, you have not seen me on TV, and if you have, it couldn't have been anything good. So, you know, that particular direction did not pan out. So my goal as a college counselor is to help students help themselves figure out their career direction. And that's part of what we're going to talk about today. Assuming I can do this correctly. Awesome. Okay. Is it always going to do that? Not always. Okay. That's just your big intro. That's my big intro. Okay. That's the extent of my favorite life. Okay. So the office I work in is called Track Central. And, you know, the whole thing with this class is race to success. Well, we were track before track was cool. Um, my husband helped come up with that. He's a huge train bus. But track stands for transfer, retention, which is part of helping students stay in college, academic advising, career planning. So that's what that stands for. We are on the second floor of the library, the Learning Resource Center. When you come upstairs on the hallway on the left, you start changing it. The hallway on the left, you'll literally see tape on the floor that looks like train tracks. Um, I've had students come in and out of the restroom. <laughs> we're all over campus. So anyway, that's the kind of help you find us. But down the hall on the left, room 206 is tracks. And okay, so how can we help you? Three big things I'm going to talk about today: career planning, transfer information. When we talk about transfer, we're talking about you know if you plan to go to a four-year college, then you're going to transfer from OCC to a four-year college, and then just kind of transfer in some general advising information for you. And again, the reminders were in room 206. Okay, why should I take the time to do all this elaborate career planning? You know, can I just talk to my family and friends, and if you're like me, just hope that you wake up and have an epiphany about what you should do, okay? For most of us, it doesn't work out that way. All right. There are things you can do and there's pieces of information that you need to help you figure out what you want to do. And for those of you in this room, even if you feel like you're certain right now about what your career choice is, by doing some of these activities and going through this process, whether it's with me or kind of on your own or with someone else, it will help confirm that decision and that choice for you. There's pieces of information you need. It's kind of like putting a big jigsaw puzzle together. You need to learn about yourself. You need to have an idea about your skills and abilities and those things that may be your natural talents, but also things you can work on. One of my favorite stories this past semester is a young lady that came into our Track Central office who said all through high school, 
She struggled with math. She hated math. Well, somehow, somewhere, thank goodness, she had awesome math teachers here at OCTC. And the light bulb went off, literally for her. She's like, I get it now. I get it. She said, and this is so exciting for me. This is so life-changing. Now, the student is going to be a middle school math teacher. I mean, that, that is absolutely amazing to me. So, if you don't have a particular skill right now, is it something you're willing to work on? Okay? Then research and career options. We're going to talk about the internet and resources here in a moment, but not everything you see on the internet, and I know you all know this, is a great source of information. So we have things at the college that can help you research. And then have, what does your major have to do with your career? Not every career is it really obvious what major you should choose to go into that particular occupation. Okay? So, Again, another reason why you should do all this is it's literally going to save you a lot of money. I'm not exaggerating. Every time you change your major, it can possibly cost you three, four, five classes or more, okay? Especially as you start to get into your subject area or your program area beyond some of the general ed. doesn't mean the classes you took won't apply. But again, you know, if you choose education, or you choose business, or you choose health, those are going to have subjects that are specific to that area. So changing your major costs you time, and it costs you money if you do it at all. Okay? All right, so some of the resources we have at OCTC, I'm also the primary career, career counselor, and one of the things we use <coughs> is Ziggy 3 website, which I'll show you in a moment. Then we also have a lot of information on the Myers-Briggs, the MBTI, which you all also know as the 16 personalities. Now I believe everyone has taken that, hopefully, and you have a full letter type. There's a lot of really cool information that goes with your type. And then another resource we use, which is new at OCTC, is the Career Coach website. Okay? Um, I like this little graphic. Demand evidence and think critically. That's a huge part of what college is about. So doing research for yourself is important. I've had students come in, come in to see me and they'll say, well, I know that XYZ career, um, there, there are no jobs here. I'm like, really? How, how do you know that? Did, you know, where did you get that information from? Um, and being able to you know, kind of dispel some myths or some mistruths about different things. You really want to be able to do your homework. Ziggy3 is a licensed secure website that OCTC pays a, a licensing fee so that we can provide it to all students and faculty and staff for free. It's something you'll have easy access to any place with the internet, um, anywhere. Now there's a lot of stuff on the website, it's probably not the best one to try to do you know, much on your phone, so I would encourage you to use more of a laptop, you know, regular computer to really get the full benefit of that website. But their career information, occupational information comes from the U.S. Department of Labor, so that's their source. Okay? So, and I'll talk after I kind of go through Ziggy a little bit, I'll tell you how you all can take advantage of this. But when you get into the website, you'll have an access code, you'll make it your ID. After that first time, then you'll sign in as an existing user. Everything you do on the site will be saved, um, no matter where you access it. You can do stuff at home, and then if you want to come in and see me, we can also, you know, look to see your results and what you um, save the favorite. This is the main menu. Lots of different things on here. I just want to point out, you can do the assessment, certainly. If you want to just go in and straight explore occupations, there are ways you can do that. When you go into an occupational, what I call a career summary, these are extremely detailed. They're usually five to seven pages long, if I print one for a student in the office. I don't know how many can read that, but all the occupations have are organized the same way. They all include, you know, work activities, the required education, experience, and lots of other elements of what's involved in that career. A lot of detail. Do you need a license? Do you need a certification? Do you have to have so many clinical hours? Things like that. Um, let's see what's the next part. This page is really important. It's under find out more. 
in that topic heading. So if you click directly on that, nearly every professional career is part of a professional organization. It will list those organizations and it will have their websites. That's an excellent way to really dig deeper and see what's involved in that career and a lot of times they'll have their own job boards. So even though as a student you're thinking, well, I'm not ready to job hunt in this right now, you can kind of do that research early to see what the job market looks like in a certain county or state or area, you know, see what the rate of pay is like, see what they're looking for. There will also be short videos about the career. So nearly every student that I sit down with and go through this website, they're like, oh, wow, this is really good. You know, it's better than just trying to go into Google and dealing with the, you know, 500 things that come up, many of which aren't even, you know, very legitimate. Okay, so how can you get help with it? How can you use this? One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, Ziggy Career group sessions in computer labs set up during the first two weeks in November. Many of them will be during what would have been your class time, and then I'm making sure that I also have some later afternoon and early evening, because we have students at other campuses and online. Um, Mr. Beardmore, I'm putting you on the spot. Are these married to <laughs> I meant to ask you that this morning. So, all right, no pressure whatsoever. Yay, the Mary Crew. Um, during these sessions, I promise it will be painless. Basically, I'm just going to help you all go through the website and to actually do the assessments. So, for whatever reason, you know, if you do it because it's married, or hopefully you'll do it because you want to get some more information, but it'll give you good access to it as well. Um, watch your email. I will send out information about this. There will be direct links on how to sign up for it because um, we are in labs and space is limited, so I'll need to know who's coming to which section. So just please pay attention to your email for that. All right, another source, which I think has been out there, I just learned about it, but connected with your Myers Briggs information, this is an awesome website, truity.com. All you need to remember, you can write it down or, or whatever. But nothing on this website costs anything now that you have taken your MBTI. So you can go in and look at information for your type. My type is ENFJ. The same one is over here. Thank you very much. I like that. Um, but anyway, look at your type. See where I've highlighted personality type. You'll have a short video. You know, a lot of folks, including someone like me who's old like, still watch videos. You can see this one, I kind of highlighted. it. I'll cover three or four minutes long. This is a really cool website. It'll give you a lot of good information about careers, um, even things about your interpersonal relationships, you know, people you work with, a lot of neat stuff. Most students will look at going, oh my gosh, I feel like someone's been spying on me. It's very accurate. All right, this is the third career resource, which is fairly new to us. It's really great for us to be able to have it. It's called Career Coach. That's the full web address up at the top, and then I'll show you how to just go through our website and also find it. This is something that was customized for OCTC. So it can be combined or, or used in addition to Ziggy, and, and one of the best things about it is that all of our degrees Certificates, diplomas, and OCTC have been um, included in our version of Career Coach. And so you can see what we offer and what jobs are connected to those careers. Because we know that's what everybody's concerned with. What can I do with that? So this is very easy to get into. You'll see, oh, let me go back for a second. Um, up at the little tabs at the top, you can research careers, degrees. It does have its own assessment. Also has a resume builder. Okay. Another way to find this website is when you go into the OCTC website, um, click on Student Line. Then on the left-hand side, you'll see a, a link for Track Central. And then this is under our resources. Under our career resources, you'll see. Um, Owensboro, EM, SIC, Career Coach. So that's just another way to find it. All right, so as you go into it, I mentioned that it lists all of our degrees. You can look at those. It will show entry level, medium, and high weight for our area. See up at the top right of the screen the 
out on of Kentucky, and then the counties that are in blue. It's showing you specifically for Davis County and our surrounding counties. So I know for people who want to stay and live and work here, that's really important. Sometimes looking at national average salaries and state averages can be a little misleading. So this is going to show you specifically for our area. The example that I pulled up when I made these slides was for um, accounting clerk. We have a two-year degree here, business administration, um, emphasis in accounting. So I wanted to kind of see what that looked like for our area. So that's what this is showing. And it's also up at the top left where it says job postings. So then you can see literally live job postings for that degree. It's pulling its information from Indeed.com. So I clicked on one of those job postings and it was showing an accounting clerk job through Liberty Financial Mortgage. I just wanted to see how that worked and then it's just like looking at any other job listing on a website. You know, you can view it, you can apply for it directly through that. So I think that's really valuable to be able to have that through Career Coach. Um, and again, that's available honestly to anybody that just even goes into our website. So you can look at local job market information. Other thing I want to talk about, um, there, you might have to give me like a five minute warning. Um, transfer information on our website, go to current students, transfer information. Then that will bring you to this page and also that Track Central in red is a link as well as the viewer transfer brochure. When you click on the left, it says choosing a college. I couldn't get all of that page into a screenshot, but you'll see a lot of our area universities, especially the ones that our students ask about the most, all of those will have links. There's a page, I want you all to understand that there are transfer scholarships. I really, really hope that if getting a bachelor's degree or getting an advanced degree is something you're interested in, don't let the money hold you back. I promise you all, A's equal money. My, my two daughters really get tired of me saying that, but it still has helped them. A's equal money, and your employer's going to care about what your grades are, too. So every college I know of has transfer scholarships. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, have your credits transferred. Students always ask this. We are fully regionally accredited. It's a very timely comment to make today because we have very special visitors on our campus this week that are very important to us. Um, but we are fully regionally accredited. That's something that you need to know that that matters no matter where you are. So your credits will transfer. But what you major in helps determine how they fit your transfer plan. Okay? That's why it's so important to work with an advisor really early. Okay? A um, couple other things about Western, because a lot of our students do plan to transfer to Western. Again, at that same page at the bottom where it says click here, that's going to bring up a link to academic plans. This is one of the wonderful partnerships we have with Western, is that as far as the degrees in Owensboro, it's so, I think, easy and clear for us to be able to advise you. Elementary Ed was an example. As you all are meeting with your advisors, this is just a partial picture of our Associate in Arts plan, but it includes the prerequisites for elementary ed. It's a really good example. If you plan to be an elementary ed major, there's a good number of things that you can take here that Western wants you to have, and you need to know those things ahead of time. Again, work with your faculty advisor, but also come see us and try. So, you already heard about the transfer day. If you're considering Weston, I encourage you to come. The one thing the Hannahs, and they really are both Hannah, um, didn't say is that you can also be a joint admit student. So as freshmen, first semester students, you have all the benefits of being a Western student, and you can be a joint admit student. Okay? Lastly, I want to tell you that I'm happy to help you with any college. Um, I'm a Western alumnus, and, and they're an awesome school, but I promise you I will be just as motivated for any school that you want to attend. I'm not bashful. I will call. I will email. I will do whatever you know, we need to do to help you get that information. Every fall, we do have a, a transfer fair. This year, a lot of you came to that, which was wonderful. Um, so 
The only other thing in our office that we love almost as much as helping students is coffee. We love coffee. Mary and I really, really love coffee. So, I realize Friday isn't a typical class day, but there's a lot of you all and just a few of us. If you're on campus on Friday for anything, doesn't matter, um, to visit with somebody, to see an advisor, to study, to go to a lab, to go to a class, whatever, come up the track and have some free coffee. You don't even have to be meeting with me or whomever to say, I'm going to go see coffee on Friday and we'll be happy to do that. We have flavors, we have creamer, we take our coffee very seriously. Okay, so my phone number is up. Um, Katie Ballard, please let me know if I can help you. Uh, don't forget about the Ziggy 3 sessions, so watch your emails, and that's the end of my presentation. Thank you all. all right, thank you. Katie was uh, one of my first college advisors a uh, long time ago, and she helped me get transferred to Georgetown College. So you did it. It was a long time ago. It's your office. It's where the movie uh, thing is now. All right, we're going to wrap up with a few key notes to get you prepared for the rest of uh, FYE. Yeah, two things left to say. First of all, I want to give a bad Katie for kissing the mic the way you go, Katie. I know. Mm -hmm. We've had people all semester long, and you've all watched them, and could not kiss the mic, so we All right. Academics, on the site here, as far as being for academic plans, you're getting ready to meet with your advisor. It's time to schedule classes for next semester. You're thinking to yourself, wait, I think we, we went over this before. Here it is again. Click on academics. Click on academic programs to study. And you'll find the academic plan. What else? Do self-service. Hey, remember way back when, nine weeks ago, when I said some of you were explore people saw. And you'll remember this moment and think, I'm so glad nine weeks ago I, I, I actually entered into people saw and looked around a little bit. There's a lot of you thinking, huh? Did you really say that? Well look. Look up there, it says 1-4. It's from way back when. It's the same thing you're going to go into PeopleSoft. You're going to find, instead of looking for, you're going to look for student self-service, you're going to look for your advisor name down here. It should be showing you if it's not. Why you want to put it in the now. And then you're going to use enroll. Now, if you try and do this today, will you be able to enroll? Because you need to meet with your advisor first. You need to meet with your advisor first. Your first semester students, you must meet with your advisor first. You'll create your academic plan, and then your advisor will turn on online access. So you can enroll yourself following this path. It's an easy path to enroll. So, we already told you about the advisor down the bottom, but I want to remind you time, time advising. You'll see signs up about this. This is when you can meet with your advisor sooner, but your advisor knows that this is kind of the prime window to meet. Notice that does not include finals week. You are taking the finals. Your faculty members are, are, are grading your finals. Do you think they're going to be thrilled to see you? Probably, but not as thrilled as some of people who need to meet with you during this time. Yeah, I mean, everybody wants to finish. Everybody wants to finish. So when you see these signs, know that that's your prime time. A lot of guys are saying, let's schedule it during this time. So heads up. Okay. Again, just a reminder about merit activities. There are several that are coming up and more to be added to the schedule. So keep an eye on those. I and then our winner for this week uh, is Willie Smith. So come see yeah, what you need to see in the breakout. Uh, and uh, we will get you taken care of. So congratulations. Uh, Wednesday, October 28th at 12.30, your common reading author will be here in this building, in this room, and that is also merit of <laughs> Now focus, I need focus. Whoa. Everyone slow down. Okay, so I know you're really excited because this is week nine out of week ten. We do not meet again until the week of Thanksgiving break. So whenever Thanksgiving week is, that will be our last session that we come back to. Again, you're not expected to check out completely of FYE. You're supposed to be working on getting those academic plans figured out and using that time to complete merit activities. But just, I mean, you can come here, but no one, we won't be here. Kevin and I will not be here. So 
just make sure you're aware. There will not be any snacks. All right, so please go to your breakout.